Okay. Hello, everybody. Bill here, that owl guy. And today I want to talk about people who misidentify some of these owls and how it happens. And uh, we'll show you some pictures at the end of this of the various owls. And we're going to use our board to help us along. And remember, this board is about 23 inches tall and about 35 inches wide. Okay? So that's going to give you an idea on these owls. So let's start with their size and weight, and we'll go from there. At the bottom of the scale, you got your screech owls. Okay? They're going to be between 7 and 10 inches tall. They vary quite a bit in height and size in a location. Um, next, you're going to have your barn owls. They're going to be about 12 inches tall. Then your barred owl is going to be about 20 inches tall. And then your great horned owl, he's going to be about 25 inches tall. And there's some variations in height in all these. I'm, these are just the round numbers, the round middle of the ground numbers. So they can be bigger or smaller, but not by much. Okay? Screech owl is going to weigh ounces, five to seven ounces. Barn owl is going to be about one to one and a half pounds for a female. Barred owl, somewhere between two and four pounds. And a great horned owl is going to be starting out at about four pounds and going up from there. Okay? And these are the four major species in North Texas around the Dallas area that you need to be worried about. Okay? Screech owl, his wingspan is going to be about 15 inches, 15 to 20 inches, depending on the size of the owl. Barn owl, their wingspan is going to be about 32 inches. Barred owl, his wingspan is going to be about 42 inches. So he's already bigger than our board with a wingspan. And then the great horned owl, his wingspan is going to be about 50 inches. So he's about 15 inches bigger than our board. And it'll give you an idea how big those birds are. Okay, they're massive owls. And they're not the largest owls in North America. All right, so reports I get a lot of time, uh, the most common report I get, a call I get, is somebody says, I have a baby horned owl uh, in my gazebo. Well, they, these screech owls look like horned owls. They look like a miniature horned owl. Um, but what they're reporting to me is a screech owl. Okay, you can imagine screech owl, horned owl, okay? So that's just lack of knowledge. Um, people don't know. Now, one thing you need to remember, just about everything that flies, whether it be animal, bird, bug, it doesn't matter. The, once that species flies, once it can take flight, the juvenile is going to be within about 95 to 99 percent of the size of the adult okay so it doesn't matter if it's a bat it doesn't matter if it's a bird it doesn't matter if it's a beetle um, once the juvenile can fly it is going to be almost the size of the adult okay and don't write me back and say what about flying fish and what about flying snakes and what about flying lizards and flying squirrels they don't fly, they glide. Totally different set of physics involved in that. All right? So the first report I get is screech owl to giant great horned owl. People just misidentify the two, okay? So now you know if it's a little bitty horned owl looking thing, it's a screech owl, it's that simple, okay? The next ones I get are, I get barn owls and I get two different calls on these. Um, I have people calling me and telling me, hey, I have a snowy owl in my, in my yard, or I saw a snowy owl in a tree. Well, two things going on there. One, there are no snowy owls in Texas. They're far north. They frequent cold temperatures up to the Arctic Circle. Okay? And then they tell me I've got a, a, uh, um, a barred owl. So, typically, 
I'll question people. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a few questions to them, like, what's your environment like? And if they tell me, oh, I live on a farm and it's a grassy field, or I've got a farm behind me, and it's a grassy field back there, and I saw this sitting on my fence, it's probably a barn owl, okay? We are, we've already dismissed the snowy owl deal. But um, the other call I'll get is uh, I've got a barn owl, and I saw him sitting in my tree. And I immediately get suspicious on that because uh, barn owls don't frequent forested areas. They're going to be around fields, open fields, big open areas to fly around. And what people do is they misidentify a barn owl for a barred owl, which is a much bigger animal, um, simply because there's some light colored versions of barn owls, uh, barred owls, I'm sorry. And uh, at a distance, they can appear sitting in a tree like a barn owl. But again, it's sitting in a tree. So if there's no field around, I'm gonna be suspicious. And typically on almost every occasion, actually on every occasion, it's been a, a uh, barred owl in a tree instead of a barn owl, okay? And then the barred owl and barn owls, uh, I don't get too much misidentification on those. Um, sometimes people think the barred owl is a, a horned owl. Um, but they're so large, you just about can't miss them. Okay. And just for comparison, screech owl, 7 to 10 inches. Get the um, barn owl at about 12 inches. A crow is at about 16 inches long, 16 inches tall. So he's right in the middle of this batch. So we all see crows just about every day. You can use them as a comparison. Okay, so that is why people sometimes misidentify owls, thinking a screech owl is a horned owl, or a barn owl is a barred owl, or a barn owl is a snowy owl. And by the way, just, just so you guys know, a snowy owl is even larger than a great horned owl. Okay, so a great horned owl stands about 25, 26, 27 inches tall. And uh, snowy owls even larger. Now, one thing of interest for you guys: um, if you look at owls, their wingspan is just about double their height. Okay, so a seven-inch um, screech owl, his wingspan is going to be about 14 inches. A 10-inch uh, screech owl, his wingspan is going to be about 20 inches. Barn owl is different. I'll get to that in a second. Barred owl, he stands about 20 inches tall. His wingspan is about 42 inches. So big wings. Okay. And your great horned owl, he stands about 25 inches. His wingspan is about 50 inches. So massive wings. But you get down to the barn owl, because of the way they hunt, they don't perch hunt. They hunt almost exclusively on the wing. So they're always flying very slow, very quietly. They stand about 12 inches tall, and their wingspan is about 32 inches. So just because of their different hunting habits, they have different sized wings, much, much longer wings. All right? Okay, one other thing to remember, you've got the potential around here for all these owls for their territories to overlap a little bit one way or another and I'm going to do a, a separate video on that probably in the next couple of days it'll be a really quick video it's very simple to understand but uh, yeah they can overlap so you've got the potential at any house to see any one of these four around here at any given time um, the least common you're going to see is the barn owl and I'm going to leave some pictures after this is over with I'll put some pictures up of the various species so you guys can physically see the difference in them and the different colorations. Alright, alright guys, hope this helped. Have a good one.